the the option to completely relax in everyday activity sounds almost outrageous and it sounds almost like no i'm not lazy why should i relax all the time or i wish i could do it but it's you know i can't relax so but here in balanced view we are really presenting an opportunity that definitely is my experience that life is totally and is an expense of complete relaxation while being totally busy, involved in life, not some kind of a disengaged state where I'm trying to be relaxed and <laughs> give a damn about everything else, you know, because I'm so self-focused about my attempts to be pure, healthy, relaxed, content and all of that. No, it's a complete immersion in everyday life activities while recognizing the power and benefit of open intelligence that is already innate. So it's not a training about that I like one individual trying to reach a goal of relaxation or trying to reach a goal of power what we do is simply by completely relaxing in short moments many times and instinctively recognizing this open intelligence of ours that is shining brightly in all of our, all of our experience then we say okay it's already there it's already present the power and potency the stability is already there. What's the difference for me and for many other people? It's just that in the past I thought that stability and happiness is a certain set of description, like a really good dictionary filled with only positive data, only positive thoughts, emotions and sensations. So I thought, okay, wow, if I'll do many things and, you know, if I'll be a good person and I'll receive these wonderful thoughts and emotions, well, I can sit here today in front of all of you and say, this is not the case, and it's totally made up. So the, the question about feeling sinful and, and flawed, it's so, it pervades all cultures, really. All cultures that uh, misunderstood, misunderstood what it means to be a human being. The attempts to describe uh, the human life in a certain way was, it's all good intent, you know, people want to find a cosmology that will really support them to be, to be together in a certain way. But if, if the cosmology and the belief system made you feel flawed, it means that it's totally made up, because we are naturally perfect. And this is our most natural, uh, our most essential human right. So if you want to claim something and if you want to uh, uphold something, first start with claiming the birthright of recognizing open intelligence. This is the most essential one, above everything else, it's the most essent essential education, because this is the beginning point, you know. How do we perceive ourselves and how, we, how do we perceive our world? And do we understand actually, like for me it was a question, what the hell am I doing here? Am I here to be depressed, happy, depressed, happy, and do some stretches in between? <laughs> and, and get a degree and have sex and then worry about not having sex or having too much of it? Or, you know, do, am I here to really condemn and, and examine my thoughts and emotions in some kind of a compulsive, obsessive way for the rest of my life until I die from a hideous disease? Like, the, I mean, this is the purpose of human life. I mean... And the fire that burns within everyone who cares enough for the rights of human beings, animals and the planet is this fire, the fire to want to understand and the fire to want to be of benefit. So we have to become clear first of all in ourselves. You know, I have great ideas about social change and everything and I always had. I, I lived most of my life in Israel. There you see, whoa, it's essential. Wake up, it's essential to stop doing the things we are doing and find a, a solution that will actually work. And I felt the same about animals and other, other causes that were of interest to me, and still are. But coming to Balance View and entering a community that is completely empowered, that nothing of the conventional games of power struggles, leadership that is like, you know, like, scolding you and, and telling you what to do, all of this is totally outshone. Short moments in myself, short moments of recognizing open intelligence, they empower me to see that within my community of thoughts, emotions, sensations and uh, other experiences, or data streams as we call it here, 
there's complete stability and peace, regardless of the data streams. That's the, that's the important part. It doesn't matter which data stream we have, each one provides us with the opportunity to completely relax, like a reminder. So you sit there in your room and you think about, I don't know what, something that makes you feel flawed, like hating your parents or having sexual desire and, and I don't know. It's, the sa it's really, when, when we look at it from open intelligence, it's like, I will feel flawed each time I will think about a banana or an apple. You know, I will sit in my room and I'll, oh, how can I think about apples? It's so, oh, I hope the, the great powers of benefit, they don't see me now or, or that my neighbor doesn't know that I think, you know, it's that absurd. So it's great that you want to clarify it. And of course, I had to see it in my own experience where the random display, the unpredictable display of data streams is constantly changing. So one moment you think about sex, it happens in Goa quite a lot. Sometimes you hear it, your neighbors, or you hear it in your mind and your thoughts and emotions. And other times you think about muesli and bananas and <laughs> organic cleaning products and all of that, you know? <laughs> and it's changing every second, it's changing every moment. So to build a life story based on what is happening right now in my mind will be totally insufficient. <laughs> It will not be beneficial. So we can completely relax in short moments right now. What are you thinking right now? Take a short moment instead. You know, instead of focusing on what you're thinking, just relax. And it, it doesn't make us inactive or like a couch potato. Having a center such as this and having a worldwide movement of people who are totally empowered and active with social change, the, the real kind of social change, um, it requires lots of energy and lots of potency that in the past was going to the garbage of descriptions, adding on more descriptions, trying to sort and recycle and, and do things like that. And now there's just complete perceptual openness in all experience. I know that I efforted a lot to um, change the flow of my data streams. I wanted a better display. Why, <laughs> why can't I get a better display? I want only positive thoughts and emotions. I want everyone to like me. I want all of you to like me, okay? Please. <laughs> don't, don't think bad thoughts about me, okay? Please. And I'll do everything to entertain you in a certain way so you will accept me. You see, that's the way human beings view themselves and the, and the society. And now there's complete relaxation regardless. The focus is totally clear. What will be of most benefit? And sometimes saying what is of most benefit pushes a lot of buttons for people. It's not always soothing and kind, you know. It's sometimes totally a wake-up call, igniting, again, the fire of great benefit within us. I know that this is my experience with Balance View, and I love it. I love to challenge all of my assumptions. All of my assumptions about everyone, everything, and myself. Open intelligence, when we stop thinking for a moment, this is open intelligence. So don't look for it anywhere else. <laughs> it's, it's there, it was always there. Stop thinking for a moment, this is what we've been looking for. And then the practice of short moments empowers that. Short moments of complete relaxation until it becomes obvious at all times. Like I don't need to think about open intelligence all the time now and whether it's present or not, it's just obvious. It's obvious as me speaking here with you. It's obvious and undeniable. Same with open intelligence, always present. And then when it's, it's not just the practice, but a whole support network that allows us to make it easy, easy and simple. Think about like, I'll give an example, like I'm learning Spanish. It's quite a slow process, I must admit. Lisa is fluent in Spanish. Um, um, I need a practice, yeah, the tools of the language. I need a teacher that I can speak with. I need a, the training material, you know, like uh, I, I listened yesterday to um, Swell Talo. If someone speaks, speaks here Spanish, it's the Frozen theme song in Spanish. <laughs> you know, I'm going to any length to really, know, <laughs> to really <laughs> to really understand Spanish. So I'm listening to these Disney songs and Enrique Iglesias and all of the, 
just to immerse myself in, in a training that really supports me. And of course, you know, the study books and everything, and books in Spanish, um, and a community of people who speak Spanish. So these are how the tools that I, uh, I immerse myself in a four mainstays of the Spanish community. And now, here we take it and we make it even more simple, but the same tools, short moments of open intelligence, the practice, the training material is the talks, the trainings that we have here, one day introductory trainings that are incredible to just to know the, the four mainstays fully and a trainer that can support us. Even all the hidden secrets we can share with our trainer. And then they don't become hidden and they, don't, and they become empowered. They, this is my experience. There were some times that I, I wrote to my trainer an email that I you know, try to secure it with code and, <laughs> you know, just that no one will see it and hopefully Google will not track it down in the system, but, and I press send and it was very anxiety provoking because I was revealing myself to another person in a way that I've never done before. And the response I received was so amazing. Taking all of this, you know, self-focused data stream and open it up for, for the benefit of all. The trainer is there to support us as well. And then the community of Balanced View is just the greatest example of how we can live a human life. Really, how we were meant to live a human life. Not pretending, trying, maybe, sometimes. Just really how we can live together as a global society. So these are the four mainstays of Balanced View. For example, before I came to, ba uh, to when I came to Balanced View, I mainly listened to talks. And then the first time I joined a written training, like a one-day introductory training, that's the moment where it totally clicked for me. Because it was all the four mainstays all at once. So in an hour or so, or three hours a day, suddenly I had so many insights like, before, like I never had before. Simply by reading this perfect text that empower everything about me. You see? In the past, I used to describe to my friends, wow, I had, when I went to this festival, like when I was 16 or 17, my parents allowed me to go to this festival. And I kept, for years I, afterwards, I said, wow, these were the best three days of my life. <laughs> they were amazing days, full of insights, love connection. Uh, I didn't take drugs at the time. It was just naturally occurring, and I was like, wow, this is the best. And I knew that something is available for me, and I always try to come back to this experience. Oh, the three days. And years passed, and I was still thinking about the age of 17 and the three days. Now, <laughs> that's so sad. I mean, I mean, it was great then, but now to see that each day is exalted, each day is full of po potency and cheer, that's the kind of expectation I have for my life. And that's the expectation anyone should have for their own life. It's not about the mental digestions of bright, bright or stupid ideas. This is openness, you know. The fact that you are here, it's openness. Don't doubt yourself. Just relax, you know. It's very simple. Uh, one of the insights I wrote in this one-day training, you, you write a letter that says what was the experience. And I wrote... You know, I thought that in the past my heart is sometimes open and sometimes closed and now I see it's totally made up. It's always open like a clear blue sky. Ah, so good. Already reduced my <laughs> spending account on self-help. <laughs> Reduces my time on thinking why my heart is closed today and why it's open tomorrow, you know. Don't, gone. In an instant. And it's to totally possible for everyone. What we want to see is the inseparability, to recognize the inseparability of open intelligence and data, like the color blue in the sky. Acting or not acting, take short moments, and this will uh, provide you with discernment and clear seeing. Thinking about inner activity, outer activity, in the vast expanse of pure openness, everything is pure and everything is open. Now, if you stop and think about it, it's confusing. But if you take it back to your own experience, it's totally amazing. I mean, I'll, I'll give another example from my life. I'm very busy, yet I feel all the time in vacation. Like I'm all the time in Goa on the beach, even if I'm on my computer. 
I learned that reality is from, in Israel it's Sunday to Friday, in other cultures it's Monday to Thursday or Monday to Friday. That's the time where you need to work. Then you have the two days or one day of vacation where you can relax and be, really be tensed about the w week that is about to begin. <laughs> and then while you're working, you th think, okay, how I can save money so I can go to a longer vacation in another country so I can relax for a bit of a longer time. Again, if we relax all the time, vacation is present all of the time. Complete perceptual openness, this great freedom that is available to us. That's what we see in our own experience and that's what we demonstrate.